Hey guys, so it's been now two weeks since I've been to the event and I'm so happy and so grateful for Black PR to have extended the invitation to me. I arrived at the showroom and there was one person from the PR team that was actually going through every single brand and giving a little bit of insight which I really much appreciated. The fact that it was really much of a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I was really paying attention to the history of the brand and more so the backstory of every collection and I've never felt so attentive about fashion before and the fact that I was also looking through the pieces and touching them, feeling the fabrics was so amazing, so insightful and really much about after the showroom event, it made me realize where I really wanted to go towards fashion. I know I did a video reflecting on my London Fashion Week experience, but really the showroom experience is very underrated and I really appreciate it more than Fashion Week in the sense of you when you're attending a show, yes, you're seeing the show firsthand and how it would be styled and the movement of the fabrics. I do feel like a showroom experience is more so you get to know more about the creative process of the brand and the whole history of the brand and you look at the pieces firsthand and you get to touch the fabric which you don't really get to do at a fashion week unless you're important enough to go backstage and talk to the designer. I, I really much so appreciated that showroom experience. <laughs> yeah. This showroom event highlighted five brands and their new collections for the spring summer 2024 but there were also other brands that the Black PR team um, represents and I also got to see more of those other brands. So the first brand is, I, I see that's Loire in French. It's a shoe brand and the collection that I was seeing was more cowboy boots, which I want to say a couple of years back was very trendy, but I do see that shift of cowboy boots being more of a timeless item in your wardrobe. Just the material, the different designs on the boots were very interesting. For someone who doesn't like wearing heels, I do see these heels being acceptable, very comfortable boots to walk in. I really like the the boots. Yeah. The second brand is Asta Nasiu. They have a couple of uh, accessories like bracelets and rings. A lot of uh, silver, but they also have clothing. The main theme around this collection was cowboy, which you know you could pair with the Louis boot. So you have a little selling tip here. When you think of cowboy attire, you see those type of shirts. It was really interesting to see uh, the different way they, the the little details on every single top and the little fringe and just the color, just the. Just that position. I don't know how to say this in English. I like the one, the red one uh, with the birds. And the, this is a nice color of red. They also had a couple of dresses with different prints on it. Uh, towards the end of uh, the collection that I was going through, there were a couple of denim style jackets. And just the details, the dragons. I'm really impressed. I'm also thinking from a IP law student of how unique that piece is. You, I don't think you would see this everywhere so I in my head it's like the more precise a design is the more protectable it can be so I like that fact that I got to see very interesting unique pieces and just the stitching on the from the like the dragon designs or there was this one well the, at the back there was dragons but at the front it was like little plants and stuff like that so just the station is a great, great materials. There's um, another one which is what's more denim patchwork, I want to say. So different color of denims. It gives this um, ruching effect. I really like it. The one that I'm seeing here is a denim with uh, tiger heads at the back. So you have the denim, but then you also have a fabric, which I, I really like. I really, I really love those pieces. Also at the end, there were shirts with a graphic. With as much as I, <laughs> I like simple pieces, those shirts with graphic or the the denim with different designs are excellent pieces that you can add to your wardrobe. I've never seen before the fringe as a leather style and it was at the back of a of a leather jacket. It's interesting and then the print was a horses. So just another way to really just to push your creativity further. Really Athanasiu did a really great job. It was a red leather jacket or I want to say more of a coat trench coat that was really Intriguing my eye. This is a beautiful red and I do see that red is a very trendy color in this moment, especially for fall. The next brand was Samar Murad. This collection was really floral and print. 
there was this one shirt with a very interesting fabric i don't know what it's called very i want to say it it's very much so like a m modest yet modern type of apparel so you had like those ready everyday garments but then there was also a beautiful dress the top part of the dress was all the florals and the flowers and then for the bottom part of the dress it was like a big poof there was a trail at the end with still the flowers attached it's very beautiful you could see that on a celebrity for a red carpet and i like how the flowers are not printed it has a 3d effect i i really like that and now we have navy london and this is pretty much a leather bags accessories brand great quality you have little bags or little money pockets or you have keychains so a little bit of everything great colors also yeah the quality is really great these are all of the brands that i'm talking about have extremely great quality feels really nice touch and you have different size of bags and you also have the little phone holders for the bag so yeah great pieces and the fifth brand was kyle i want to say it's like a modern take on kimonos i'm not an expert of the history of kimonos but this is very much so you know the prints and also the the structure of the kimono but they also have uh, shirts and they also do bathing suits that are still incorporating that the prints very light very comfortable now i'm going over the other brands that black pr also represents the first one being serum bags but also uh, outerwear so you have leather is pretty much leather and they also have scars and uh, wallets i really like the structure of the bags and the duffel bag is also is a really i really like it great for traveling all of that stuff great quality i'm a fan of of the outerwear especially the red ones it's more of a burgundy red wine color then we have turana attach so it's a modest swimwear collection and this has to be the most fashionable modest brand that i've seen great quality of pieces for the swimwear even the cover-ups are modest yet modern have that modern twist i really fell in love with the modern uh, with the cover-ups you also have leggings swimwear which i feel like can also be good for working out yeah and you have skirts as cover-ups but also for swimming and there was a uh, a one piece that had short sleeves and which i really like it and the blue is really nice color so i i think i could wear it as a everyday just just like a as a regular dress eh, i don't know the next person i want to talk about is any old iron this is the most outgoing brand that i've seen at this event a lot of sequin and there was one made with in collaboration with smiley the brand smiley i want to say and it, it's very interactive i remember while the the pr person was talking to me i was just also like playing with a sequin and it has two colors so it can just go like this if you want to offer another day wear and then like this at night very versatile it's very elton john harry style where it's not all sequin obviously there was this short a very short short with two stars you know very like go out like go crazy type of outerwear i think my favorite sequin was this pink and blue just beautiful and it, it was a top it was a symbol so uh, a vest with with pants well trousers how you would say in english and just like a, a beautiful black bra or a pink bra that would match the the pink of the of the assemble great or even the blue a dark blue it would be really great and oh yeah there was this vest i don't know how to explain it but it felt like how can i say this when there's like a lot of bobby pins and you know that your sewing kit and it's like there's a lot of like bobby pins and all the threads of colors just flying all around it it was that type of vibe but put on the on the vest and in the best way because you know that sometimes that i like that funky not just like everything sleek it, it is still sleek i want to say but it's just really well placed on the vest so that was very interesting i really liked it what i what i personally wear it i don't think so because i feel like i i'm not that i go with my clothes the way i express myself but i feel like if i really wanted to go out there outside of my coffee zone i, I would wear something like this yeah so i said not everything is sequined but they do have colorful pieces and 
cool designs printed or even stitched on. Okay, so the next brand is 2.2. I fell in love with the vests. I really do. These vests, I see vests, but yeah, jacket, vest, every piece was unique and I, I'm just in love. I think my two favorite, no wait, I don't have two favorite. There's this one, blue, with just a white, uh, just white stitching all over it. I love it, I really love it. Blue and white, I wanna say two simple colors, not too outgoing out there, but I think I need it in my life. I really, I really do think that. That blouser is the definition of a unique piece. This navy blue blazer, but there's so much, like, there's a, there's flowers and there's little beads stitched to the blouser. And then at the back, there's this whole river and forest vibe. Everything is stitched onto, it's not a fabric, it's not printed onto the jacket. It's a hand sewn to the jacket, so it really gives that 3D effect. And just the f touching that jacket is incredible. I, I, I just can't really explain to you. I think you ha this is the type of piece that you would have to touch and really like see it for yourself i would actually buy this not to wear but just to have it as a as an art piece i can't I'm, I'm, i can't even express how much how special that that piece is the stitching is great it's more than great it's amazing and then they had this red top blazer with a like harness type i, I really like everything is the one color and you just have the different elements layering to give more dimension, more texture to the piece and I'm, I really like it. The next brand is INF. I did go to their pop-up shop during Fashion Week and the fact that I got to see again the pieces is really good. It's interesting to see how, uh, what pieces does that PR brand want to present to the, their clients. So it was also interesting. But INF has really cool pieces from cool graphics I like their take on simplicity but in a very modern way in the sense of there was this white top but just the little pieces just extra pieces uh giving more dimension more texture to the garment it's like a white crimple top and i really i sometimes i leave my house without flat uh just ironing my my toss so it kind of feels wrinkly but this i would wear this every day because the whole purpose is to have that wrinkle effect. The skirts were also really cool. And I like the sides where you just tie the sides. Next one is Twist Check. It's a sunglass brand. Fun colors, fun structures, really cool. And I remember the PR person telling me that you can change the glass part. So I don't know if you wanted to have cool glasses as reading glasses, you could be able to do it. And I also remember he said that you can change the... So you know the gap here. A lot of sunglasses, they just do one type. So especially when I don't have a... a like a, I have a small bridge. Um, sometimes there's a big gap <laughs> between the sunglasses and my nose. So I have sometimes put my glasses here at very low so it can just stay on top. But I remember being told that with the, these sunglasses, you can... Oh, DIY. <laughs> you can customize how high or how low you want. To your the nose part to be I'm not really I don't really know the terminology regarding nose and sunglasses but I like the red t rectangle one and the purple one because they have little balls at the end they're very comfortable they sit really nice on your ears and all of that stuff very cool sunglasses pieces next one is brun I will call it brun but I don't know it's like brun but I will just call it brun and it's very menswear. I think a lot of people think that men, women's wear where everything's like colorful and all that stuff. And men's menswear has to be very sleek and uniform and very simple. But men's wear can still have creative, cool creative uh, graphics. There's this one. It's white with the logo on it. I really like the texture of a polar. I don't know how you, that polar polar jacket. Just growing up in Canada, I've always liked polar jackets. It really keeps you warm, so and the quality is really great. It would definitely keep me warm. That that white polar jacket. Okay, so the next brand is Billy Black. There were so many interesting pieces. The first two that came in mind are these see-through. Uh, there was I think there's one that was a dress or a top with roses, black roses stitched to the the top. 
really much I really do see that common theme of having 3D pieces, 3D elements on garments, which I really like. But there were, ooh, there was this skirt, see-through. I would I I am in love. I am in love with that one. I'm not really a see-through girl, but just after this whole event, because there are a lot of see-through type of um, garments, I really want to try it out. I think, I think I could put it off. I think I can pull it off. Also, it doesn't have to be just you and your underwear. You could put it on top of a jeans or just play it around. Very cool um, as a layering piece. The next brand is Ordinary Made Extraordinary. This is another menswear. I really like this one because I feel like the cuts are not necessarily what we think of menswear. Also, the colors, there was pink and green pajama set. Shorts were short. Well, for me, they were short. I don't know. Uh, the shorts were nice. They also had ties, pieces, and then on, later on they had uh, this everyday wear. And the, I love when there's stitching that is not the same color. And it just gives this element that it's very structured, very well made. I love, I love those pieces. Next what I want to talk about is Juna. I was supposed to go to the fashion show, but I wasn't able. And I'm so happy that I got to see these pieces firsthand. Just touching the pieces, the material, I don't think I would have had more fun watching the show. Just the fact that I was there is amazing. The first one that I want to talk about is this pink and yellow jacket. Very cartoonish, I want to say. And the material, I don't know how to explain the material. It gives me that, um, I'm gonna explain this material actually. For some reason I'm gonna say Spongebob, but like a yoga mat, yoga mat material. Yeah. A bit more, it's a bit more light, I remember touching it, but it kind of reminds me of that material. That piece is amazing. I think this alone, could just pull it off as an outfit for an event, I don't know, yeah. Ruching, the different elements, I just love it. I, I forgot what uh, it was said, something about um, the designer incorporating a certain fabric from their home country and then experimenting with the different textures and how you can express it so you can see the blue and the white tops it has it has like this effect and then also like a whoosh. so it's just like the designer experimenting with how to manipulate the fabric i don't remember the name of the fabric and i'm sorry but it's fun it's just great it really is and you can see also on the white and you have tops you have a uh, short sleeve long sleeves you have skirts and I, I'm in love. This could be a very great wedding reception. But I, hey, if I ever get married, I'll play this. I'll play with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. There were these pants. Oh my god, so funky. Love it. So it's uh, very shimmery. And at the back, you can see the proper pockets. But yeah. Now we're going to talk about a jewelry uh, brand, which is Samantha Siu. Uh, most interesting these were the necklaces so they had some with like a, a bridge or an elephant and at the back you had those i want to say rocks but it's more so a what is so cool is that you can put either the the i want to say uh, the elephant at the front or you could put it at the back and you know those uh, tops or dresses where you have an open back if you have the necklace at the back and you have your hair up like this it could be it could give a really cool effect and i I I just never thought about it. It's really I don't know if chunky jewelry is my thing, but as I was saying this, I was very interested. I think, and also the the earrings are cool, simple. They they're very they're very elegant. I, I think it would be even more interesting if they could also play with uh, small jewelry, small necklaces. So have the same the same uh, idea, but on smaller jewelry. Uh, or not like thin jewelry so as soon as my current necklace if i were to like switch it back and have that i think it would be also cool just go back to apparel and the next brand is apujan i was also supposed to see that brand during fashion week i didn't manage to go but i'm again i'm so happy that i managed to see and touch the fabric first of all there was this gray dress it's great and then just oh my god this dress the stitching is great the it really feels more so like it's very structured at the top and then at the bottom it flows a bit love it this the blue of this collection is amazing i really love that blue 
It looks amazing. I'm just watching it. I'm just re-watching the video that I took and I'm just, I'm so impressed. Oh my god, this one. It's a vest. Even sleeveless vest. And it has that blue and white designs. Pieces are amazing. Next, right now we'll talk about is Benamun. It's another uh, jewelry brand. And funny enough, the cross necklace was actually worn. Well, not this exact one, but Rihanna has worn one of their necklaces, especially the cross one. And it's very Beyonce, Rihanna. I, I really love gold, but they do have silver pieces. Amazing. Well, there's this one necklace at the very, very right, which is very long. So if you have a a top just gives you a uh, space for cleavage and you have that kind of necklace that would be so interesting i'm just looking back at the pictures i took amazing pictures i have a uh, feras which is a bag brand i am obsessed i remember the pr person telling me that their first collections were very satin bags, but also satin bags and then they really uh extended more to uh, leather goods and all that stuff and very structured. It reminds me of a bag that I used to have when I was a kid. I love the stitching. You have different designs, different graphics. Very interesting. Well, the red is a beautiful color, and you can see that the graphic is more so is satin. So you have that leather and satin combo that I, I don't think I would have thought I've seen, but it's amazing pieces. Yeah. The last one I will talk about is Daniela Reeb. I hope I said that correctly. I'm so sorry. The key point that I remember I was being told was the fact that the designer grew up in Miami and I remember the person saying that this designer grew up with a strong trans community around the, the transgender community and a lot of transgender women um, didn't have shoes that would fit their, um, their shoe size. The designer created these shoes that were actually very, that could go up to a large size for transgender women. I don't remember how far the shoe size is, but it's very much so very inclusive. Great colors and also padding at the front of the shoe is so comfortable. So I wear heels. My issue is never the heel, it's the front part of my shoes. I was touching the padding and it felt so comfortable. Colors, cool designs. I like the heel aspect. Not musical, it's very pop of colors, which also reminds me of you know, Miami, Florida is very like party all day, every day. I think my favorite shoe is the denim one and also the pink one. This whole press event was amazing. Great pieces, great brands. It, that, that whole event made me remind how, like, how much I love fashion, how much I love getting to know new brands every day. So, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful that for that invitation black pr you did an amazing job hope you really like this video and i will see you guys next time bye